Hi! This is an extra little bonus tutorial that goes with a two-part tutorial about aged paint on bricks with live type and live images. In those tutorials I showed you how to make matte painting on the bricks, but sometimes you want to have gloss. So let's see how we can do that. We're starting with the same base image, but this time I'm going to show you a different way to separate the bricks from the mortar, because there are lots of different ways to do the same thing in Photoshop, and it's always nice to know a few extra ways so you can tailor them to your situation. I'm going to start by holding down the Option key, that's Alt on a PC, and pulling out a copy of the brick wall. I'm making this below the other brick wall because I like to make all of the adjustment layers and things behind a solid layer if I can. That way if I forget to turn the visibility off, it doesn't matter. It's behind a solid brick wall. Nobody's going to see it. So I'm going to change the visibility right now by holding down the Option key, Alt on a PC, and clicking on the eyeball next to the brick wall, and that hides all of the layers except for the one that I clicked. Now I'm going to make some new adjustment layers. This is the new adjustment layer icon, and the first one I'm going to make is Levels. And because my interface is so small, that hides the Layers panel, so I'm just going to click here in the gray area and open it back up again. And now I'm going to make another one, and this time I'm going to make a Threshold. It does the same thing, so I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to choose the Levels layer, so that's the one that's selected, and open the Adjustment panel back up. Now if you don't happen to have an adjustment panel in your version of Photoshop, that's fine. If you just double click the Levels Adjustment layer, you'll be able to do the same stuff. Change the white point, move it to the left, move the black point to the right to kind of clamp what's there in the middle, and then I'm going to take the gray point and I'm going to just adjust it a little bit so that what we have looks like white bricks with black mortar. Um, that looks pretty good. Remember we're making a mask here, so we want to have the black with the mortar and the white with the bricks. I'm going to select it all, holding down Command on a Macintosh and Control on a PC and clicking A. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Copy Merged. I have to copy a merged layer because right now, remember, we are working in an adjustment layer and you can't copy adjustment layers. It doesn't work. So now that that's on the clipboard, I'm going to show all of these layers by just dragging up the visibility icon column there, and then I'm going to select the layer and make a new layer on the top, and that will give me another layer. I'm going to hold down the Option key, Alt on a PC, and fill it with whatever the foreground color happens to be. It's not important at all what this color is because it will never be seen. I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to drop the selection, then I'm going to go to the new layer mask icon right here, and I'm going to click on that and make a new layer mask. Hold down the Option key, Alt on the PC, click on the Mask thumbnail, and then just Paste. And now we have our mask on the mask, where it belongs. I'm going to hold down Command um, and click D, that's Control D on a PC, of course, to drop that selection. Now because this is a mask, remember, anything that is black is going to be hidden on the layer, and anything that's white is going to be shown. Remember that stuff that's black hides in shadows, and stuff that's white is easily seen. I'm just going to click back on the layer, so we go back to the layer, and there we have it. We have the black bricks, we have the invisible mortar, so you can see the colors behind it. Kind of an interesting effect, but not what we really wanted. So we're going to hide the rest of this by holding down the Command key, that's Control on a PC, and clicking on the Painting thumbnail to select the active pixels from that layer. And then I'm going to click on the layer mask once again. And I'm going to invert the selection by holding down Command Shift, that's Control Shift on a PC, and tapping the I key. As you can see by the marching ants, that inverts the selection. The mask is the thing that's selected here. I'm going to tap the D key to make sure we have the default colors so that it's really black and really white because I want to really hide what I don't want to see. And then because it, the black is the background color, I'm going to hold down Command, Control on a PC, and tap Delete, and that will hide the rest of that layer so that we don't have to worry about it. Drop the selection once more, and now we're going to make this into paint on bricks instead of painted mortar on black bricks. So we're going to change the fill of the layer, not the opacity, the fill, to zero. That hides all of the pixels on that layer. It doesn't hide the layer itself, the layer opacity is still 100%, but it hides the pixels, so that's why we didn't care what color they were. And now we're going to add a layer style to that layer, and you'll be able to see the layer style. So down here on the FX button, we will go to Bevel and Emboss. And there you are, you can see it. So let's take a look at the Bevel and Emboss dialog here. Inner Bevel, that's good, that's the one we want, because that means that the 
bevel will be on the area where there are pixels. You can't see them, but they're there. And not on the area where there's no pixel. And we're going to change the technique to chisel soft. I'm going to reduce the depth just a tiny bit. Say like 91. I'm going to reduce the size to about 1 because that was way too big. And I'm going to soften it up just a little bit. I'm using the global light. That's perfect. Gloss contour is good. Let's turn on anti-aliasing. The highlights will be screened. That's what we want. And the shadows will be multiplied. All looks good. Click OK. And there we have our paint on the bricks. And the paint looks shiny and new. Now there's lots of stuff we could also do here. I can zoom in a little bit. And I could take my paintbrush and make sure I'm on the mask. And then because I'm painting white on the white bricks, make sure my paint is white. And I could touch this up a little bit and make some of the places inside the bricks go away if I wanted to. I could also tap the X key to change the foreground and background color and use the left bracket to reduce the size of my paintbrush a little bit. And I could go in here and I could clean up some of the mortar a little if I wanted to. There's lots of stuff like that that you can do. I don't think that we're going to do any more right now because we don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to zoom back out. Let's just zoom right to 70% because that was a good, nice size. And that's that. All of these layers are still live behind the mask up here. So I could take the type tool and I could change this to drink and I could change this to orange juice and it's live and it works and it's always going to be painted no matter what you do to the layers or to the image because it's a mask on the top and that's that. This is Robin Wood and I hope you found this helpful.